Before becoming world-class K-pop idols, everyone in the industry starts from point zero, which is becoming a trainee. And while most fans would think that Les Seraphim's Kazaha is no exception, she actually skipped the long and rigorous trainee life. Unlike her peers, Kazaha only spent six months under the strict idol training system, which made her the target of a ton of criticism, not only from Knets, but most especially from other trainees who had been training for years. However, Kazaha finally explained what really happened and told the entire story of her short yet eventful trainee journey. And because she trained for shorter, people expected that she had it easier. That's not the case for Kazaha. From being cast to joining the debut lineup of La Seraphim, Kazaha bears it all and reveals how she skipped the trainee phase and became one of the most sought after K-pop idols right now. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Through her skillful execution of hip-hop and ballet choreography, coupled with her vocals and rapping, Kazaha Nakamura has effectively established herself as a prominent figure in the K-pop market. And at first glance, fans would assume that she trained her entire life just to become a K-pop idol. Well, guess what? This is the thing that sets her apart from her other colleagues in the industry. Among all the members of the Seraphim, Kazaha's training period was the shortest. When the members were getting introduced, it was revealed that Kazaha trained for only six months. Aside from being the shortest, if compared to her members, it was later reported that it was also the quickest training period for any of HYBE's groups at the time of her debut. By the time Kazaha joined the Seraphim, she was instantly put into trainee mode and had only a few months to prepare before the girls made their debut. Imagine how hectic that was! It was only expected that she had to catch up with a lot of things such as recording, choreography, and a lot more which made fans very curious how she was able to pull it all out. Thankfully, their debut journey was shared with fans through their YouTube documentary series where a portion of Kaza's training is seen, including her initial Zoom meeting with Yeonjin, Chewon, and Sakura of La Seraphim, which was pretty lovely. But there are also hard times. The World is My Oyster also narrates the difficulties Kazaha faced leading up to the group's debut schedule, which she had to perfect in a short amount of time. Specifically, the singer struggled to relearn the fundamentals of dance while working on other members who had trained day in and day out for years. And since a lot happened during that particular time, it was also expected that Kazaha had a lot of stories she wanted to tell, which she eventually shared during the Seraphim's time in the US when they performed at BlizzCon 2023 and promoted their first English single, Perfect Night. At the time, the group also had an interview on The Zack Sang Show with well-known American radio personality Zack Sang, where they discussed their time as trainees, their creative process, their goals as a group, and other topics. Zack Sang asked the members about what motivated their aspirations to become idols and whether they had a version of an idol that they aspired to be during the show. In response, Kazaha said that she, quote, did not have a trainee period and that her goal was to establish herself as a stage performer. Zack Sang was taken aback by the talented La Seraphim member's remarks and asked her to elaborate on how she made her debut without following the conventional trainee path. Kazaha disclosed that she joined the group abruptly, meaning she was unable to participate in the typical trainee lifestyle and had to go straight and prepare for her debut with the members when she arrived in Korea. And unlike popular belief, she acknowledged that she faced more difficulties adjusting to idol life because she wasn't a K-pop idol trainee. Compared to other trainees and her members, she had no idea how to act and how things work which added more stress to her debut preparation. She did, however, reassure her supporters that being a member of a group that can put on a strong stage show is an honor to her. You see, when she joined Source Music, it was already decided that she would be in the debut lineup of La Seraphim. Though Kazaha acknowledged that she wasn't a traditional trainee, she did train for almost six months with the other members in preparation for their debut. While she received criticism because of this, some fans believe that Kazaha did not need to train for long because of her experience as a professional ballerina. Sources claim that Kazaha received her ballet training at the Royal Ballet School in the United Kingdom and the Bolshoi Ballet Academy in Russia. 
it turns out that only 16 students are accepted per intake into the Royal Ballet School, which is one of the greatest schools in the world. But wait, there's more! Because it was also reported that Kazaha kept getting better in her performances and was eventually discovered by the esteemed Dutch National Ballet Academy in the Netherlands in 2020. Images of Kazaha when she was a ballet dancer have been circulated by online users, and she certainly oozes sophistication and elegance. Specifically, a netizen has shared a list of Kazaha's accomplishments to prove that she was already an awesome performer before she joined the label. The list revealed that in addition to Kazaha's numerous international awards, including the Asian Grand Prix, she has also been cast in leading roles in plays such as Juliet in Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Netizens expressed their shock at Kazaha's talent and said that Hybe was fortunate to have discovered her. There were even rumors that a representative from the label had flown to the Netherlands specifically to make sure she will be joining the group. Kazaha's journey to becoming a K-pop idol was acknowledged even by Park so Yeon, who was the performance director for Le Seraphim. In an interview, Park so Yeon stated, quote, Kazaha had a relatively short training period, and her debut with Le Seraphim was her first time trying K-pop choreography. The straight lines of ballet movements are built into her after 15 years of doing them, and it must have been really hard for her to break out of all of them at once." End quote. Through Kazuha's hard work, she was able to establish her name as one of the best K-pop idols of this generation. One of the most unforgettable moments where Kazaha captured the hearts of netizens was during Le Seraphim's debut showcase. She made a big impression by entering the stage with poise and enthralling everyone with her charisma and gorgeous appearance. Just like that, people learned that she had a natural talent to control the stage with her presence and aura. And who could forget Kazaha's iconic move on Le Seraphim's Anti-Fragile? I mean, the song features iconic choreography like Yeonjin's waist-bending move and Chiwon's precisely timed blanks to the song's beat, which instantly made the song so popular worldwide. But aside from these killing points, Kaza won over fans with her flexibility and improvisation. During the song, she has an especially special moment when she steps forward to showcase her flexibility, which she credits to her ballet training. However, she would add a few touches here and there to spice things up. She usually kicks her leg into the air, holds it there with her arm, kicks it again, and then lets it drop to the ground, but there are times she would do it with assistance, just like her performance at the Cheongnam National University Festival. During that time, Kazaha was unable to catch her leg in mid-air because she was holding a hand microphone. That didn't stop her from accomplishing the move without the help she usually gets. Kazaha was also able to do a photo shoot for Calvin Klein's Fall and Winter 2023 collection. K-pop's meteoric rise to fame has sparked a fascinating trend in the global luxury fashion market. And throughout the years, many K-pop idols have been personally chosen to represent luxury international brands, and their eye-catching looks and unique personalities are considered a plus in the global promotion of luxury fashion labels. This is why it's no surprise that Calvin Klein has chosen Kazaha as its brand ambassador since Kazaha perfectly complemented the brand's image with her unique appeal and distinct vibe. Kazaha also experiences hardships along the way, and despite not training full-time like K-pop idols usually do, she endured and overcame countless challenges. And while Kazaha has had a different journey, this doesn't mean she is not good enough. Her talent and skills exceeded expectations and helped her group achieve different milestones in their careers. Though there are people who judge her because of her lack of training years and call her abrupt debut unfair, Kazaha was able to prove many of her critics wrong. And because of this, fans are super excited to see what she has in store in the future. How about you? Let us know what you think in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for more.